One, two, three, four. on the air. Well, welcome, welcome, friends and neighbors to the Bucktown Review, our little show honoring life here on the banks of the mighty Mississippi. Tonight I have the pleasure of having Cora Winromke with me, my wife, and partner in music. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We just got back from the Ozarks. And fittingly, Mike purchased a banjo while he was down there. I did. I did. He didn't buy it in the Ozarks. He just purchased it from the internet. I purchased we it online while I was in. I, something about being in the Ozarks motivated me to buy a banjo. I don't know if it was being in the Ozarks, the big pickup trucks. The big boats. The big hair on the women, the big cowboy hats on the man. Something just got me going. Yeah. He was super excited about it when he got home. Like, wouldn't even unpack the car, just had to unpack the banjo. That's right. That's yeah. right. I had to have Drew come over special and meet the uh, FedEx guy to sign for it when it got here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm stoked. It's from uh, Mass Street Music in Kansas, a very fine music store, but it's actually a Pisca banjo. Pisca. And those are from, I think, South Carolina, North Carolina? The Carolinas? Someplace. Just say that. The Carolinas. Yeah, it's a, it's an open back banjo. It's not a, it's a claw hammer banjo as opposed to a Scrag style banjo. So it's got a little, little mellower tone to it. But yeah. Yep. We'll be getting that out just as soon as I can figure out how it works. <laughs> He's been practicing. He's very faithful. So um, our other partners in crime, uh, Amy and Christy and uh, Teresa and Brian, who's always behind the camera usually, um, they're not here tonight. We're just doing a little kind of a gap show here. We're going to get together this Friday, and uh, we had too many people going too many different directions over spring break and doing things in March to get everybody back together. But we're going to do a slew of Bucktown shows this Saturday, and then we'll be putting those up regularly. And we've also got some good news, don't we? We do have good news. We do have good news. Yes. Yes, we've uh, been talking to our friends over at the uh, Denport Junior Theater, the Nice Wonder Theater, and they think that we're going to be able to probably get back in there for shows coming in September. So Yeah, they're thinking it's going to be maybe... uh, we're heading in the directions with vaccines and stuff, too. You know, if you're comfortable going out in public, you can come. So go figure. Definitely see more people hanging out at restaurants now. Yeah, we went out to eat the other night and we couldn't get in. Nope. It's crazy. It's a good sign. Very it's a good, good sign. It's a good sign. be really good to get back to normal. Um, hopefully there's a lot of pent-up demand for folk music. <laughs> <laughs> In September, and we've also been talking to some friends in Nashville, and are, we'll, we'll we'll have some some other good news for you once things become a little clearer about what's going to happen this fall. Mm-hmm. But we're going to do um, a couple old songs for you right now. One's called Sourwood Mountain, and this one actually does require some help from the audience. You got to sing Hi Diddy Ho Diddy Hoodlum Day with us. So if you could do that. From your place is where you're watching stuff. That'd be great. Uh-oh. Hi, Diddy Ho, Diddy Who. The cats Lundi. are starting to invade. Yeah, that's good. And we're going to marry that up with a song called Red Prairie Dawn, which is a Illinois fiddle tune of recent vintage. So, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Day. She won't come and I won't fetch 